Israel's genocide campaign against the people in Gaza continues, and as of today, according to Al Jazeera, at least 27,947 people have been killed by the IDF, and that number includes at least 12,150 children, and more than 7,000 people are missing. So, like, some people, especially in the mainstream media, like, they seem to deny that uh, Israel is conducting a genocide. But if you look at these numbers, like, almost half of the people killed in this war by the IDF is children. So, like, if you think that is not genocide, like, what is a genocide, right? Like, this notion that the IDF and the Israel and Netanyahu is doing this war to like combat Hamas and you know protect Israeli civilians and fight terrorists like that is a complete lie it, you can't be like a logical person that thinks about things logically and like pretend that um, this is not a genocide it is a genocide they are doing this to ethnically cleanse Palestinians from all of the from the river to the sea like Netanyahu literally said that like the phrase river to the sea so a percentage of civilians killed by hamas since october 7th is lower than the percentage of civilians killed uh by the idf so like if you call hamas terrorists then you have to call IDF a terrorist. In, uh, if you're not, then like you're just being a dishonest person that are not looking at the uh, real numbers. So um, this it's becoming clear day by day that uh, the IDF and Netanyahu is a terrorist, and like Israel is a terrorist state. There's no ifs, no buts. If you look at the numbers, this is clear 100%. And this story is developing today, um, but. In the city of Rafa, there are uh, like a lot of uh, uh, like uh, over a million pe Palestinians living there right now because um, the Netanyahu and Israel Israeli government they told the people in first well first they told people in the northern strip a uh, northern part of the Gaza Strip to like evacuate because they are gonna attack there so they some of them moved and if they didn't uh, many of them were uh, ethnically cleansed and they were uh, killed even though they are just a civi c civilians that are like not a threat to Israel in any way sh shape or form but um then but then Israel just continued to attack southern Gaza uh, so like some people moved to like places like Rafa where it was considered a safe place but now the there's this story developing that Netanyahu is uh, trying to conduct a another genocide in Arafa uh, in the name of fighting terrorists. So um, this is from Amnesty International. The statement published by the Office of Prime Minister Netanyahu, which instructs the Israeli military to produce a plan for the evacuation of the civilian population of Rafah, had spread panic in the southern governorate, raising fears that a massive ground operation is imminent. Such an operation would, will have catastrophic consequences for more than a million people, the vast majority of them displaced, who are living in desperate conditions in Rafa, squeezed into overcrowded areas, makeshift tents and schools or sleeping on the streets, who have nowhere to go. Satellite Im imagery of rural areas of Rafa show a mass of tents and other temporary structures that have risen since mid-October. In urban areas of Rafa, a mass of people and new temporary structures can be seen on the streets. And here's the picture. So this is from October 15, 2023. So <clears throat> uh, like a one week after the terrorist attack by Hamas. And here's the picture right now uh, or February 1st, 2024. So a few days ago from now, I think. So as you can see, it's very clear that uh, many people have uh, moved into Rafa uh, because they were et like ethnically cleansed from where they were before in like northern Gaza or some other part in southern Gaza. So uh, more than a million people are living here right now. And many have already faced success successive waves of displacement. If these mass evacuations orders are indeed issued, they may amount to the crime of forcible transfer. A displaced woman in Rafa said the words, where do we go, are the only ones you hear from people in Rafa right now. A ground operation in Rafa, which is under intense bombardment, will also have a disastrous impact on the entire humanitarian aid system in Gaza, which is already overwhelmed and struggling to provide support to a population facing the real and imminent risk of genocide. So yeah, like, as I just told you, um, twenty over 27,000 people have been killed by this uh, attack by the IDF in Gaza Strip, um, but as you, as I said, more than a million people are living in Rafa. So, like, 
many organizations, including uh, Amnesty International, were saying that like the death toll and people that the casualties um caused by the IDF is gonna like skyrocket if uh like uh if Netanyahu like proceeds to conduct this uh, plan to attack Rafa. So you know they they have nowhere to go, right? Like like people people in Gaza can't like just you know move move to somewhere else like freely because they're like occupied and you know the, Israel controls all of these board borders and they have like almost no way to go outside of where they are. So like the, Netanyahu just like tells the uh, people in Gaza to like move and then like they even even if like they don't have any choice to like anywhere to move, right? So like the, he knows it obviously. So he's like intentionally uh, killing these civilians uh, in the name of combating a terrorist when like the vast majority of the uh, casualties caused by the IDF is uh, not the members of Hamas or like some pe people that are associated with these terrorist org organizations. Like most of them are just civilians that have no, no intent of like harming uh, the innocent Israeli civilians. So it's clear that the uh, uh, Netanyahu is a terrorist and he's trying to like become one of the most uh, horrible genocidal maniacs in the history of the world. Like if he like proceeds to uh, con conduct this plan to at attack Rafa, then he's gonna be memorized as like one of the worst genocidal maniacs in 21st century so and the reason that uh, Netanyahu is doing this is clear it's just to um, continue having his power uh, of ruling over Israel because you know his support is obviously dropping and if he like uh, ends this war um soon like then he, he's gonna like have to go that that's uh for sure so he's just being this cold-blooded genocidal maniac just to uh continue to have the power so that's how selfish he is like he's he doesn't care about the lives of women children and innocent civilians living in gaza he only cares about his uh continuing to have his power to rule over israel so it's important to remember the intentions of uh the netanyahu government because it's not to combat hamas it's to just to uh, ethnically cleanse palestinians from the river to the sea and just to uh, continue to have his power and and the United States uh, reaction to this genocide in Gaza is like very terrible. Like the, the United States has been uh, continuing to support uh, Israel in like military and economically uh, for, for like very long time since the uh, establishment of the country of Israel. If America, the United States and the Biden administration really cared about human rights, like they wouldn't be funding uh, Israel to this day, like they would have stopped a long time ago, uh, even if like they, they had a point in like supplying uh, Israel before October 7th, like I, I don't think they should have um, supplied is Israel with any weapons from the beginning, but um, even if you can make a case that uh, Israel should have been supported by the United States before that, then yeah, I, I kind of get it. Like you can't have that position, but if you if you are saying that like you, you should uh, if the is the United States should still be supporting Israel when they've killed over ten thousand civilians, like you know you you're just a ter terrorist supporting a genocidal lunatic. So um. But that is exactly what the Biden administration has been doing. They've been supplying uh, Israel with weapons and money and so on and so forth for a month after, uh, even after the, the Israel and uh, the Netanyahu government and Israel uh, started this genocide campaign. And it was like very clear that they were not doing this to combat Hamas. They were just doing this to ethnically cleanse all of the Ga all, uh, Palestinians from all of Gaza. So, um, but the... And Biden finally, like, has been saying, like, some petty, um, you know, like, criticism against, uh, the Netanyahu government for, like, few days or weeks now. Um, and in response to this news that Netanyahu is planning to attack Rafa, he, the Biden said that, uh, the Israel's conduct in Gaza is, has gone over the top. Like, okay, um, Yes, it was over the top, like very, very long time ago. Like you are realizing this way, way too late. And it's clear that like Biden doesn't really think it's over the top because if he if he thinks that way, then he should just like stop supplying them with these uh, military weapons and supporting them economically. Like no, 
you should have stopped that like long time ago. And like if same story with uh Israel's Netanyahu, Biden is just saying this to to try to like this stop this a uh, drop of the support in the polls right now because you know many people, especially uh, Democrats and young people, um. Obviously, like we don't want to elect a genocidal ma maniac as a um, president again. Um, so, like many people are saying that they are not um, voting for Biden, and um, especially in states like Michigan, where there are a lot of Arab Americans, um, the support is like plummeting very, uh, very rapidly. So, <clears throat> um, Biden is kind of troubled by that, and you know he wants to beat Trump and he wants to um un get reelected this year. So. Um, that that's probably why he's saying like petty uh, criticism against Israel. But um, it's if you look at the actions, not the words. Like right? like actions are what uh, people really think about. Uh, if you look at the actions, that then you can see like what they're really thinking. So Biden is like still uh, continuing the uh, funding of Israel. So it's clear that um like he he's saying like this as if like he's like you know some kind of third party like over the top like you you are a hundred percent complicit in this genocide and like it's too late like you ha you you've been supporting this genocide for a month now so you know it's too late so we need to call for a ceasefire and uh demand Netanyahu stop this terrible genocide against innocent people and civilians especially uh, children in uh, Gaza and stop this genocidal plan to attack Rafa um, more than ever like we need to call for a ceasefire right now like especially people in the western world include um, especially in Israel and the United States because th those two countries are the one ones that are most complicit in this genocide so uh, we need to do this more than ever that's all for now please like and subscribe thank you for watching